Hello friends, my name is Kelly DeHaan. I'm a music director at the Hale Center Theater and I love my job. I love my job because I get to work with hundreds of awesome actors, brilliant children, and people like you. People who want to be on the stage. People who enjoy singing and acting. I have played for thousands of people as they have auditioned and come through our doors. And I've played for thousands of, of brilliant auditions, but also some auditions that didn't go so well, where people got nervous or people got in their heads or people just weren't engaged in the moment or weren't engaged with their singing. And so Mark and Sally Dietlein have asked me if I would put together a series of very short 10 minute voice lessons to help people understand what we're looking for at the theater as far as our auditions go, but especially where singing is concerned. How to help you become quickly a better singer. And there are lots of uh, small little tricks that we can do to become a more engaged and beautiful singer. We can all sing, all right? Be if we can talk, we can sing. My name is Kelly DeHaan. My name, my name, my, my name is Kelly DeHaan. My name is Kelly, De my name is Kelly, it's the same thing. Singing, talking, same thing. It's on pitch, but it uses all the same musculature. So today, for our quick lesson, we are going to start with, with breathing. It is the foundation of everything that matters in singing, is breath. Here's the way the vocal folds work. They sit behind this cartilage here, your Adam's apple, it's called your thyroid cartilage, you don't care, but it's this hard, hard cartilage, all right? And you have these flaps, when they are brought together by these, um, these cartilages called the arytenoids, it brings the vocal tissue together inside your throat, and then air from your, from your lungs comes up your trachea and moves, they, they move kind of in a folding motion like this, which is why they're called vocal folds, right? We don't call them vocal cords anymore. Vocal folds, and they kind of fold together like this. The air, using the Bernoulli effect, sucks them together, the arytenoids, and then the air moves them like this, and it's awesome. So air is the foundation of everything to get that vocal tissue to move together properly. It's awesome, it's miraculous. And then your body controls, your brain controls the pitch by kind of bunching that tissue or lengthening that tissue. It's amazing, right? It's amazing that we can, we can do anything at all like, that is that incredible. Um, so it's all about air. It's all about getting that supportive air from underneath. So to start, we are going to take what is called a hyper breath together so that we can feel where to place the air in the correct place. If I ask a, a kid um, to take a, a deep breath, that kid is going to go like this and raise his shoulders up and take a deep breath. You don't breathe into your shoulders. You don't breathe up here. Um, you breathe into your lungs and then your lungs displace your guts and make your guts go out. You're not actually breathing into your belly, but I like to think of that actually. So we're going to put our, our uh, hand like this with our thumb under our jaw and we're going to kind of restrict the air that's coming into our mouth just a little bit. And what this hyper breath does is it makes the body say, what's wrong? What's going on? I better breathe properly. So watch this. Don't do it with, don't do it yet. <sighs> oh yeah. Oh, that feels so good. It, it actually makes me a little lightheaded because I got so much crazy air. If you rewound that, you don't need to rewind it. I'm going to show you again. But now you're going to do it with me and you're going to watch. You're going to feel it come into your belly. <sighs> oh, don't do it too much. You'll get lightheaded. I don't want you to faint. The theater is not responsible for any injury that is, um, that occurs while you're watching my videos. Um, Breathing around the hand, your body pulls the air where it belongs, which is nice and low. Of course, it's not living in your belly. That would make you all gassy. But instead, it lives up here in your lungs. And then your lungs, as they inflate, they push down all your guts, right? There's actually a sheet of tissue, of muscle, under your lungs called your diaphragm. And that diaphragm, you can't really 
move it. If, if someone says, breathe with your diaphragm, what? Okay. Like, how do I control my diaphragm? Well, we do actually. We control it with our intercostals and with, the, with our abdominals. All right? So as we breathe in, we engage our abs. It pulls our diaphragm flat and it bellows air into our lungs. The vacuum forms and pulls air into our lungs. It's amazing. It's amazing. All right. So then that air, again, comes up the, up the, the throat and out the mouth while passing by the vocal folds, making them vibrate. We control the pitches and it's awesome. All right. So hyper breath, breathing nice and low. Now we are going to try, um, let's do an exercise where we just, we get a nice low breath and then we're going to hiss out on a hiss. Okay. So let's get a nice low breath without the, without using the hand. Let's just see if we can't put our air nice and low. Now hiss out and feel how your keep hissing, feel how your abs engage as you resist a little bit as you're pushing out. Good. Now let the rest out. Let's do it again. Breathe nice and low. And hiss out. Yeah, and you can feel that pressure in your abdominal area. It's awesome. Now we're going to do the same thing, but except instead of hissing, we're going to sing. Let's go a little lower. Let's go here. La. This is our pitch. Ladies, you're going to be up here. Guys, you're going to be down here with me. La. Ready? Nice big breath. La. Yeah. That should feel so good to be able to hold a note that long. Um, Here's an exercise that we do so we can kind of measure where we're at with our air. I like to count as I sing. I have a lot of my students, they do this exercise, where we count in sets of eight. With actors, everything is eight. Dancing is eight, everything is eight. So we're gonna do that. In the exercise, uh, let's, let's do this key. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you understand? We're counting in groups of eight. So we're going to do that. We're going to take a nice low breath. Right now I'm, I'm kind of exaggerating the breath, right? So that you can kind of see it. The goal is to do it without making any sound, right? To get nice low breaths without making these terrible sounds. Um, but for now, we're going to, I'm going to show you the breath so that you can really hear it. Here we go. Our goal is to make eight sets of eight. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, if you made it, like this video. Just kidding. If you made it, that's awesome. So we can kind of use that as a judge. If you didn't make it to eight sets of eight this time, no problem. But I bet you will fast. I bet you will do it quickly if you will actually practice breathing low, breathing correctly, okay? Um, so now, let's do it again. Let's go up a few steps, and let's try to make, uh, let's make 10 sets of eight. Ready? Two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, getting a little long for me, 10 sets of eight. So you can do that as, as, as far as you can count and just kind of use that as a, as a uh, you know, to, to figure out if you're making any progress. So if you made it to eight today or maybe even to 10 today, that's great. Next time we're gonna make it to 11 or 12, all right? Um, so, so air, when we, when we send the air through our body and out of our mouth, um, it goes, it goes past the vocal tissue and then it goes up into this resonating cavity of our mouth, 
right? The goal is to get as much space up in there as we can so that we have what is called resonance and ring. And that's what we're going to be talking about next time, is how to get that warm, big, beautiful sound. But none of that matters if we're not using our air. So just to recap, we're gonna breathe low. Dancers don't like to breathe low because they don't ever, ever, ever wanna look anything but gorgeous, all right? Runners don't breathe low because if they do, they get a stitch in their side. But singers, we must train ourselves to breathe low, right? Allowing the diaphragm to flatten, to push out the guts, bringing air into the lungs. Oh, it feels so good, all right? And then we're gonna waste and use that air and just use it up for great, amazing singers, okay? Making sure that this isn't rising as we breathe. We don't need that. So look in the mirror and check it out. Make sure that everything is staying nice and, and stable, that we're breathing nice and low. And practice. You can practice on songs you already know, all right? And I'll see you next week as we talk about placement.